Hello, what the hell is this? Why is there a 6 in the middle of my medieval Welsh manuscript? And some sort of weird H? And who made this O Christian? Medieval writings are full of weird oddities and Welsh is no exception. When there's no one around to even agree on how the word should be spelt in the first place, things tend to get kind of weird. Today I'm going to talk about these three Welsh letters, how they were used and where did they go. The voiceless alveolar lateral fricative, the th sound, also known as the one that English speakers mess up so badly that it makes you wonder if God really did abandon Earth, is a rare sound found only in about 5% of the world's languages. In Europe, it's only found in Welsh and Icelandic. Globally, it's found in a few languages such as Nahuatl, Kosa, and Zulu. Nowadays, it's written as a double L, but in medieval manuscripts, you can often find it written like this. This one looks like two penguins holding hands. As you can see here, it's a bit hard to spot, and from my own research, it seems to have been a fairly uncommon letter to use. I found a few examples here. The letter ev is found commonly in Icelandic and Anglo-Saxon writings, representing the voiced dental fricative z sound, which is written in Welsh as two d's. You might ask, if Welsh already has a way of writing this sound, why was the letter ev ever used? And to that I would say, ask William Salisbury. Of course, you can't actually do that, he died 438 years ago, so you just missed him. He translated the New Testament into Welsh in 1567, and for some reason he used both the z and the ev letters. In the book of Revelation, Gwledigeth 21, the word newydd is spelt both ways. I don't know why this was done, again Welsh already had a way of writing v, which Salisbury uses, and the use of ev is really infrequent. Apart from Revelations, I could find only one other use, in the book of Luke. I believe it was also used elsewhere, but like the double L, it's quite hard to spot. Here are a few that I think I've spotted in the Peniarth manuscripts. This one is my favourite, the middle Welsh V. It's a completely unique letter, and unlike the double L and the EV, it was really common. It apparently was used to represent the sounds of V, I, and U, although that last one seems to be the most common sound it represented. So where did this letter come from? We know that it's a Latin letter, and that it seems to be most commonly representing the U sound. Latin also had the sound represented by the letter U, which you can see here in the Annaus Cambria, with the names of Gugon, Bodhu, and Arthur Bodhu, all use the letter U instead of the letter W, which the Romans didn't have. Is it possible that the Middle Welsh V was some sort of stylized U? Did it simply evolve over time to look like this? I have no idea, and sadly, it doesn't seem that anyone else does either. The Middle Welsh V and the double L are critically under-researched. This is just an extremely basic idea that I had, so let me know if you have any of your own theories. So what happened to these letters? The answer, once again, comes from another man who translated the Bible. If you were to ask my nan, what comes from Llan Rider, she would say two things. William Morgan's Welsh translation of the Old Testament, revised edition of the New Testament, and the Welsh Book of Common Prayer, and the devil himself. I have seen him, and continue to see him, in every shadow, at every corner. I don't know what that second one means, but that first part is useful. William Morgan, upon seeing William Salisbury, no relation, translate the New Testament into Welsh, decided that it was important to translate the Old Testament into Welsh too. He also decided to revise the New Testament translation, taking out the weird Evs and the other letters. This translation had to be fit for the printing press, resulting in one final removal. The Welsh used the letter K for the sound K, but like modern English, they also used the letter C. The word for the Welsh language, Cymraeg, was at this time typically spelt with two K sounds, one K and one C, as was Cymru. According to J.R.R. Tolkien, yes really, William Morgan made the decision to remove the K from the Welsh translation because the English printing presses would not have the required amount of K letters to physically print the translation. The decision was unpopular but it stuck, and today we're taught in school that the K is not part of the Welsh alphabet, and if you say it is, William Morgan's ghost will come down from Slan Rider and haunt your dreams forever. Huh. Maybe that's what my nan was talking about. So there we have it, four lost letters, the K, the Ev, the double L, and the unique Middle Welsh V. Born from Latin and removed by the printing press, they were unique aspects of Welsh. This would ultimately be their downfall, as the first major spelling reform of the Welsh language sought to standardise it for the printing press. Don't get me wrong, these reforms, just like the further reforms in the 20th century, were absolutely necessary. I just find these old letters fascinating, and I hope you did too.
Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you for over 200 subscribers. My first video reached 4,000 views a few days ago, which is crazy, I never could have imagined to get more than even 4 views. So thank you all very much for your support.